honor your uniqueness. There may be someone in this energy getting drunk or something like that. Honor your uniqueness. So you're somebody very unique, different, could be eccentric, unconventional, unordinary. But this is like a special quality. The universe wants you to look at this like as a special quality and don't look at yourself like you're weird or something. Rejoice in celebration, three of cups. You could be rejoicing in celebration, happy, celebrate life, enjoying times with other people. Maybe your friends are honoring your uniqueness, your family or people close to you. They love how unique you are or rare you are. You could have in the past felt like afraid to be judged or you thought other people would talk bad about you for being unique. Or you used to care what people was going to think about you. There's some people that's like happy for you or celebrating something with you. Yeah, it's like there's somebody else or some other people that are honoring your uniqueness too. It's like you're being celebrated for that. They see like you're very authentic. You're not scared to be yourself or stand out from the crowd. Aren't you a clarity? Yeah, this is clarity. Rest, reflect, recharge. You could be resting, reflecting, recharging. This apology keeps coming out. Forgiveness. Some Somebody could have been um, talking about you or gossiping about you to other people. Trying to make it seem like you was weird or something. Or some people was calling you weird. Or it's like something was wrong with you or you were weird or something. Over that is somebody in a group or something wants to apologize for that. Apology. They're not looking at you like you're weird anymore or something. Oh, it was some kind of control tactics. Somebody was talking about you or something, saying you were weird, but they was using that as a control tactic. The sun, strength, empowerment. Something came out to light. Somebody sees something with you. Yeah, they're looking at you like you're someone very strong, confident with your uniqueness, with your individuality. Could be a Leo. This could be a Leo or an Aquarius. Realizations. Pretending reversed. Somebody realizes you're not pretending, you're not fake. You're not living beyond your means. Okay, somebody that was talking about you, some people was talking about you saying you was weird or something. They was saying like you was fake or something or realization, awareness, finding out, coming to light. Yeah, you're not fake, you're authentic. 
these other people are just care to be themselves. Somebody could have wanted you to be seen as someone weird or a weirdo to get other people to stay away from you or something like that. Yeah, someone's real happy. Neglected. You could have neglected somebody. I failed to give you what you need. Or they wanted you to feel neglected. Somebody wanted you to feel neglected or something. Oh, there's hope. Yeah, you could be an Aquarius. Aquariuses are known for, well, people say they're weird. We're eccentric. Aquariuses are eccentric. Aquarius is about hope, hope. I have not given up on us yet. Hoover was saying you was weird or something it feels hope or you're feeling hope. Soulmates. This could have been your soulmate. Deep love, unity, connection. Yeah, I feel like your, your soulmate was talking about you or somebody was talking about you to them. Or both. They wanted, they wanted your soulmate. This was a control tactic to get your soulmate to look at you like you was weird and to not want you or something. Will of Fortune. There's some change, a positive change. Somebody's learning something or realizing something, discovering something about you. Yeah, this wasn't a past. Six of Cups reverse. You could have had some bad memories of something or something happened in the past. This could have been uh, from your something from your childhood too. Six of Swords. Okay, now you're moving on from something or something from the past. You and a soulmate, they want to move on from something from the past. They want y'all to move on. They realize something and they want y'all to move on. They're apologizing or something. Someone's in the Nine of Swords, Five of Cups reversed. Someone's stressed in this stuff. They got anxiety. Yeah, this is somebody that was in a group in the Three of Cups. This is someone in a group or at their party. They was accustomed to talking about you or something or saying like, oh, this person is weird. They're stressed because now they see y'all moving on. They see like they're not going to be able to use that control tactic no more. That's what's got them nervous. Yeah, queen of wands. You're very confident, self-assured. You're a little brave, strong. A lot of people like you. You can be real friendly be very attractive you're more in tune with something with your spirituality now or you you're you have an optimistic um, view on life or worldview you're comfortable in your own skin queen of swords reverse yeah three of cups reverse is somebody that was talking about you Somebody, she was gossiping about you. It's most likely a feminine. She was accustomed to telling people that you was weird. Or possibly telling your soulmate that. Whoever that is is stressed out right now, the Ten of Wands. They're burdened, stressed. That was a tactic to get someone to move on from you. Ten of Swords reverse. Yeah, all that's done. All this darkness and gossip or whatever is all done. You guys are done with all that. Knights of Pentacles. 
now somebody wants to be committed, loyal to you and not talk about you or something of that nature. Because they realize someone's jealous. King of Wands, Empress Reverse. Some of y'all, they could have been talking about you to their friends or family. They could have been talking about you to their mom or siblings, cousins, or some third party, somebody in the, in the Three of Cups. Three of Cups reversed is here. Yeah, Six of Cups reversed, Three of Cups reversed, in the past they was talking about you gossiping because they're jealous. There could be multiple people that was doing this. There's a queen of wands, a king of wands. Whoever this king of wands is, is similar to you. They could be honoring your uniqueness or their uniqueness. They're strong too or spiritual too. Comfortable in their own skin, assertive. This could be something with some creativity. You guys have... Um, Similar passions or passion for each other. It looks like it's some women that was talking about you. This person likes different. They like unique. Happiness, flowers, yeah. The sun, happiness and well-being. You're happy. You're happy, y'all are happy. Wealth, y'all can be wealthy. Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Yeah. You got a lot of personal strength. You're at peace. You don't care what people think. Situations in the balance that require, require careful handling. Um, some of you guys, somebody in this energy was gossiping about you and they was trying to make it seem like you were not smart or something like that, or they were smarter than you. Somebody in this energy wants to feel like they're smarter than you or something. Curse reverse. They could have been trying to curse you or curse your name. Somebody's stressed because you're not in misfortune. Yeah, this person was hating on you. Your twin, your twin flame or soulmate is not all about that. That hate stuff no more. Hating on you. Disturbance reversed. One of these people was doing black magic over you on top of that. Yeah, they're stressed. Whoever that is is stressed now. They was doing black magic over you, talking about you, gossiping, saying you was weirdo, like a weirdo. Yeah, they lose a sleep over you now. The same person or people that was calling you a weirdo and doing black magic is, is restless, sleepless. And y'all are just happy and wealthy. That situation could have made you stronger. Or made, made you and a soulmate stronger. They're stressed. They're feeling all caught up. Someone's feeling all caught up. Yeah, that person is stressed out. Possibly two or more people. They shouldn't. They shouldn't have done it. They shouldn't have done something. Karmic doing black magic. Yeah. That's what I just said. Sometimes being soft is strong. You're strong. Someone is about to do some serious jail time. This <laughs> is sad. <laughs> now whoever this is that was talking about you is scared. I'm trying to stay positive to attract a better outcome. Yeah, stay in a positive headspace. Don't worry about whoever this is. <clears throat> oh 
almost everything out of the karmic's mouth is negativity, pessimistic comments, or gossip. I am tired of it. Yes, I was tired of them talking about you. <laughs> they were hoping, they were hoping this person was gonna lose interest in you. Yeah, that's why they was talking about you. That was a control tactic. Not answering phone calls, texts, or emails. Now somebody's not answering that person. They're not talking to them or they're ignoring them or something. That's what they get. Because they don't want to hear it. Some of you guys, <clears throat> some of y'all, like, if they was calling you or this person, that's all they was doing was always talking about you. Yeah, Paige and Wanji first because they're jealous. King of Wands. Someone's about to apologize or something. There's somebody very strong here. Yeah, someone's heartbroken and sad crying. Ace of Swords reverse, Three of Swords, Ace of Cups reverse. Someone's jealous, sad, heartbroken. Yeah, they was gossiping about you to someone, possibly to your soulmate. And now, I feel like now your soulmate is not talking to them. Yeah, negative. Knight of Swords reverse, they could have been trying to bully you and stuff. They was lying on you, making up lies, all kind of stuff. Yeah, they was cursing your name. Negative comments. Full reverse. Seven of swords. They use manipulative tactics to try to fool this person. So they wouldn't want you and look at you like you was some weirdo. Uh, 